everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Phil Hodges Experience. Today we got a brand new reaction. We're going to be checking out Tom McDonald's Superman. He just dropped this song a couple days ago. I don't know anything about it other than a couple days ago he dropped this song. And when at the time when I checked, at, uh, checked on it, it had, this was like yesterday, it had uh, 1.2 million views. <clears throat> so Tom McDonald, for those of you that don't know, is a little bit political in his songs, so that's why he's kind of a, one of my current favorite uh, musicians. Because uh, it really kind of it's a good way. Music is a good is another good way that politics can be expressed, much like through sci-fi shows to ex to express cultural problems. <clears throat> and so lately, there's been talk of nukes a lot uh, due to all the war that's been going on, on uh, across the ocean. And so I wonder if this Superman uh, song has something to do with that, considering the fact that I can already see there's this big bum behind him, which may or may not be a nuke. I don't know enough about nukes to be able to tell one from another and stuff like that, let alone, let alone bombs. Uh, so uh, if you like this kind of content, by the way, please like, subscribe, and give a thumbs up. And don't forget to leave some comments as we go through this video. Check it out, and make sure you tell me what you think. Unlock my phone and watch the world die They cry into God while they run for their lives Blood in the streets, bombs in the sky Goodbye, I hope you had dreams Come. Okay, so I'm gonna switch up what I think this song's about now I think based on what he just said he, it seems to be kind of like he's talking to the individuals that lost their lives on the October attack, October 7th, I believe, when Hamas attacked Israel. I think this this might be, right now that's what that's what I'm picking up on it. Uh, so let me know what you think, see if you've changed your mind on it. We'll go back for a couple of those lyrics. Yeah, I guess we'll do it at eight. On for their lives, blood in the streets, Bombs in the sky Goodbye I hope you had dreams Come true I hope they see in their crosshairs What I see in you And I hope And I pray Cause it's all I can do I don't understand Who is good or bad They don't care as long as You got oil sand we need something fast, we need something bad More than guns and tanks, where is Superman? Oh. Okay, I like that, that was good I like how we, uh, now I understand how Superman comes in And that was really good, I like that I was actually thinking about this recently Where how, uh, like in a world if Supermans were real Not Supermans, but superheroes in general What kind of world it would be like But with the comic version of the ideal version not like the reality that like the boys paints where they're all kind of corrupt <clears throat> or evil in some shape or fashion and more like soup like classic you know 13 year old superhero superman um or I or iron man for that matter a little bit more realistic the marvel stuff um but nothing like like the boys or anything like that or invincible uh but I really liked how he was, he, yeah, I definitely think this is about, this is about war in general, and uh, obviously the bombs and stuff. This is definitely about war in general. And I, the more I've heard of it, the more it's reinforced. I think it's about the attack. Uh, but I want to hear some of those lines again, particularly the lead up to the Superman part. Because that's going to be the intro to the chorus, is my guess, as this song continues. Got oil sands. We need something fast. We need something bad. More than guns and tanks. Where is Superman? Oh, where is Superman? Oh, where is Superman? I turn on the news and watch the world fight. Thousands of men making widows of wives I'll be home soon, walked off in the night Goodbye, I will remember you 
I know it should or be shot in their man just like you, but I hope and I pray, cause that's all I can do. Okay, I really like that a lot. One, I'd like to point out that I really like the the this different tone. It's not like I wanna call it angry rap. Aggressive rap. Uh where it's not really in your face. It's a, a more calmer somber kind of a song and particularly some of those lyrics he said right there i'm gonna have to go back and hear them again uh, i wanted to but he was talking about how i mean let me just hear them again make sure i gather my thoughts correctly but no i think i got it <clears throat> uh but basically what he was saying is because i've had a similar thought where what can you what can you do right all you can do is pray about what's going on and even though people are going to have to do acts of evil in the name of good he he wishes the best for everybody regardless i i would say like it sucks that you know that there's terrorists in the world and, and things like that uh and that they feel like that's the avenue that's the only avenue they can do or whatever it is uh but at the end of the day i mean like israel is going to defend itself or is whether you want to whether, whether you want it to or not and uh and it's killing it's, people are dying on, on both sides all over the world you know expand this expand that idea out you know regardless of the conflict ukraine that'd be another one but just because it's more of a desert scene uh open kind of middle east eastern looking that's a lot that looks a lot what the area in, in that part of the world looks like so i don't think he's talking about ukraine but you can definitely add ukraine into that uh kind of equation and any other conflict for that matter I know it should or be shot in their man just like you, but I hope and I pray because that's all I can do. I don't understand who is good or bad. They don't care as long as you got all your sense. We need something fast. We need something back. More than guns and tanks. Where is Superman? Oh. Where is Superman? Oh, where is Superman? Soon you won't need a TV or an iPhone to see because you will look out the window and boom. I don't understand. I like that. That was an interesting little twist there. I don't have to go back and <clears throat> uh, re-listen to some of the build-up to that because I, I think it's a little bit more clever than I initially caught on. Uh, I also don't know when he got that middle middle uh, lip pierce. I was wondering about that. It's interesting. It's interesting looking. Um, yeah, but this song is really, really good. I mean, like, again, I'm enjoying the lyrics and I'm also enjoying the fact that the guy likes simple things. And that there's not a whole lot going on. It's really just him expressing himself, I guess, through music. There's not a whole lot of distractions. It's just how he's seeing, seeing the world and seeing the events and arguably <clears throat> feeling feeling very small, um, witnessing atrocities half a world away when there's nothing he can do about it. And, you know, obviously all he wants is for much like myself, every man, woman, and child on this planet to be happy and successful, whatever that, that means, roughly. And it sucks to when we live in the world with all the strife and conflict and all that kind of stuff. You won't need a TV or an iPhone to see because you will look out the window and boom. Ah, so obviously saying there that you won't need to see the bombs on your tv or cell phone streamed because they're going to be happening on your on your doorstep M implying world war three possibly i don't understand who is good or bad they don't care as long as you got all your sense we need something fast we need something bad more than guns and tanks where is superman oh where is 
Superman. Oh, where is Superman? So that there was the uh, song Superman by Tom McDonald. That's, like I said, that was a really good song. I really enjoyed all the things I've said about it thus far. And I'm definitely going to go back and listen to it again on my own time a, a couple times to see what else I can glean out of it and see if it's going to make it onto my, my playlist. Um, well, with that... Let me know what you think of the song, if you thought differently, if you thought I was right or wrong, all that good stuff. Make sure you leave comments down below. And I would appreciate if you joined me on Thursdays at 8 p.m. for a live uh, viewing, where basically we're just going to shoot the breeze, talk, see what comes up. Um, if you showed up, you'd be my first, well, live viewer, not like I'm a virgin, but like my first viewer on YouTube. You break my... YouTube Cherry, though. You can do that. You can help me out with that. Break YouTube Cherry on Thursday. What day is that? The 15th at 8 p.m. November 2023. Uh, with that, this Phil will see you in the future.